The next step is to replace the hub, which became dislodged when we popped off the old subplate assembly, and feel around to determine uh, where the, the key is. You notice we've got a notch here. We're just going to slide that down over until it rests firmly in that uh, keyway. And then I'm going to follow that up by just put, putting a uh, light dab of grease on this hub assembly. I'm then going to take the new shell plate, put it in place, and then gently press downward in order to uh, push it into place. And I'm going to raise the ram slightly while applying downward pressure. And did you hear that? It just popped into place. And now that we've popped the shell holder in place and have rotated it until it's properly aligned, we're going to reattach uh, the two screws that hold the ram in place. And now the second screw. We might need to uh, shake the subplate uh, in a slight way in order to align the hole. Now that we've got both uh, subplate mounting screws in place, we're going to firmly tighten both screws. The next step, we're going to lower the ram and as we lower the ram we're going to insert the uh, brass tube into place. We can see where that should enter the shell plate. We're going to lower that fully and then push firmly. Use the wrench on the pipe at the bottom with the tool in place in order to, to firmly press that, that tube into place. So we're just going to give that a gentle wrap with a dead blow hammer just to make sure that that's fully seated. And then we're going to reattach the spent primer tube. While we're over here on this side, we can take our primer punch and install that by screwing it in by hand. We will use our 7 sixteenths wrench to finish snugging that primer punch into place. We can then proceed to reinstall the primer slider assembly and using my pliers to reinstall the primer slider spring. The next thing I want to do is to grab the back part of the spring uh, with my pliers and then slide the primer slider into place. I can then reattach the primer tube assembly. First sinking it into the front hole then uh, attaching the, the Allen screw. Next, let's reinstall the primer slider assembly. So the first thing I'm going to do is to get the primer slider started on the, on the subplate. The next thing that we're going to do is to take the uh, primer slider wire and we're going to feed this through the primer slider which we've just slid onto the subplate assembly the next thing that we're going to do is going to be to install the lower nut. Well, now we're ready to install the shell plate assembly onto the subplate. I'm going to line up the key properly with the notch, and then I'm going to insert the center bolt and spacer. We're just going to snug that down, tighten it slightly with a wrench. You don't need to go overboard here. I'm going to raise this partially to get the case feeder slider out of the way. And then I'm going to wrap it all the way around the shell plate, go all the way up and then all the way down. Do that a few times until the uh, case retention spring falls into place properly. And that's it. Now we have installed our uh, Easy Eject upgrade system. There's never going to be a reason to have an ejector wire in place and we can now use all five stations, including station number five, with any dies, 7 8 by 14 commercial dies that we want to use. So we can use a crimp die in station number five. We can stick a powder cop die in station number four and bump that uh, combination crimp and seating die into station number five if we want. This really gives us a lot of versatility uh, with our press.